cutting edge fields are very, very important and relevant. It helps humanity to make progress and step forward. My name is Bogladka. I study computer science with uh, AI specializations, and I'm from Hungary. I'm Ken. I'm studying atmospheric sciences, and I'm from Japan. My name is Daniel, and I'm studying cybersecurity, and I'm from Austria. My name is Ibrahim. I'm studying computer science, specifically artificial intelligence, and I'm from Egypt. My name's Linda. I'm a PhD student in electrical engineering, and I'm from Ecuador. Ever since I was a small child, I was fascinated about the new technology from the US. Whether it's from a big company or a new groundbreaking research finding, the US was always involved in producing cutting edge technologies. So wanting to study cutting edge fields in the US, it was a no brainer. There is a huge potential in AI and uh, applying it in different fields of our lives. I've been doing research in applying artificial intelligence, machine learning based tools and software to aid diagnosis and uh, personalized medicine ultimately. Studying in the US has given me the freedom to choose what I want because of the breadth of options available. And for me personally, my care goes towards creatives and using AI to give them the best tools to achieve their vision. I'm studying atmospheric sciences. I use numerical models, many different kinds of simulations to predict and quantify the change in the climate. I'm really excited about the field of cybersecurity. That means I try to find solutions for cutting edge cybersecurity threats in the future, preserve the consumer's privacy while innovating and developing new software. I wanted to find uh, universities that have a strong research center in intelligent transportation. And my favorite part about studying the US is that everyone has this mindset of doing things better and improving technology. In my opinion, the US is the best place to study cutting edge fields because you have this hub of innovation that produces the technology we're going to use today and in the future.